the rematch. So from the Las Vegas Hilton, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Great indication that he appreciates having a new challenge after 43 consecutive... Always. <laughs> and Junior Jones, to his credit, didn't listen. Chapter 2, Junior Jones and Marco Antonio Barrera. Both fighters doesn't seem concerned about Junior's power. All he wants to do is land a fifth. In the second half of the fight. And like I told you, the way I think that a Marco Antonio Barrera should have fought Junior Jones the first time. There goes Junior throw a good body shot right there. He punching here in round number two. Tactical battle. Barrera punctuates the round with another hard left hook to the body and then chases Jones to the rope and takes a left hook from Jones for his trouble. There was yeah, you can see playing more defense and punching off of that. Early, calm, professional performance through four rounds by Barrera. Now Jones finally catches him with a right hand. Rounds one and four with that left jab. But I got to tell you, Junior Jones interrupted the arc of Barrera's punch. Barrera consciously going to the body in the fifth round. Consciously and conscientiously shortening the distance between himself and Barrera to make his jab more effective and give him landing one of those right hands over the top. And he landed one there. Roy, having tasted the power of Jones, you think Barrera is more steeled? Basically, either way, it's just that in my opinion, I think your thing is to beat the champion. It has been very forthcoming about the possibility of giving Whitaker a rematch. His promoter, Bob Arrow, would have taken the fight because, like I said, Whitaker would prove the point. Meanwhile, Meanwhile, back here at the... Like I said, the puncher is usually the guy that would wear it down first. Junior as low to get advice or encouragement. And Barrera is kind of an advisor to a lot of those 1988 amateur guys, right, Roy? Perhaps beginning to accept the notion that they're going to go the distance and that he'd better score some points. That body shot by Barrera hurt Junior Jones. Jones throwing and... Another left hook to the body by Barrera. Carries that nickname. Yeah, cause... Barrera landing a left and a right. His glove down to indicate that it had landed low. It draws off the hook. I was about to ask, Roy, do you think that the passiveness of Barrera, relative to what the style we've seen him in the past, is due because he's too conscious getting hit by that right hand? It could be. And now Junior's landing a left hook, which was... That was a good body shot by another good body shot by Junior. And a good left hook. Oh, he has turned the fight around with excellent use of the left hand. Stepping in closer to make the jab a factor, doubling up on the hook, using... This fight is going to be very close on the scorecards, going into the last two rounds. Yeah. <laughs> you never can tell. Oh, good right hand. What would my instructions be? That was a good body shot by Barrera. Barrera lands a right uppercut inside. And Junior lands a hook inside. Oh, good exchange. Across the top by Jones, and Barrera goes into a shell against the ropes. Junior Jones has got him hurt. Now Barrera comes back with body shots. But Barrera's still strong. The big right hand. Barrera took punch well. Don't want to take too many of those. And then wailing away on the ropes at the close of the round. Ever since his... Here he goes his game plan out, he make it knocked out. So I can't say he should throw his game plan out. Barrera working to the body. Jones working upstairs. Crowd loves it. This fight still could easily end in a knockout by either fighter. Yeah, but it's the end of the fight. He's got to do more damage. That one body shot. Oh, that's a good right hand by Barrera. Stay back. One thing Barrera knows is that it took a lot of opportunity that last round to expend all the punches that he throws. And now he's doubling up that advantage with the body. Good right hand by 
Dodd Jr., but it's always by a good enough body shot by Barrera. Yep. Straight right hand by Junior Jones. Barrera. Junior is showing a remarkable chin here himself, Jim. This is more like the fight we were hoping for last week. Another tough round to score. And there's a go. Marco Antonio Barrera. And that one point that Mills took. is here. He has to stay strong because Marco's going to stay strong. Good body shot by Barrera as he countered. Jones determined to work to the body with the right hand. The more prolific puncher. What will the judges go for tonight? Nothing here tonight. And so is Marco Antonio Barrera. That's it more. That's what it seems to me. The three judges at ringside were among the three who so powerfully favored Oscar De La Hoya's aggression against Brunel Whitaker's defense and skill last Saturday night fight, but Junior Jones won it. 114-113 in round six rounds apiece. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the Las Vegas Hilton, we go to the Budweiser scorecards. Dwayne Ford scores the bout, 116 to 111. Jerry Roth scores it, 114 to 113. And Chuck Jampa has it, 114 to 112 for the winner by unanimous decision. And still, champion of the world from Brooklyn, New York, Poison Jr. Well, you heard Poison say before the fight, 